Buongiorno, mi amici. Good morning, my friends. Today we're going to continue on with our dairy-free products, and today we're making a vanilla pastry cream. Italian for the day. Crema dolce alla vanilla gratuita. So that's what we're making, the vanilla, dairy-free vanilla pastry cream. So the butter, so what we have here, we have uh, rice milk, or, or uh, a rice drink they call it, almond milk, a mixture. We also have the butters I was talking about. So these are vegan butters. This is uh, non-GMO, both of them, they're both vegan, but this is soy free, and this is just original. So they're plant-based uh, and dietary friendly. So they're, they've got um, ingredients, vegetable oil blend, palm fruit, canola, safflower, flax, and olive oils, uh, water, salt, natural flavor, pea protein, sunflower lecithin, lactic acid to protect freshness, and annatto extract for color. So there's just everything is natural, so that we're going to be using that today. I wanted to show you those products. And of course, you, you know the almond milk we talked about in the rice drink we have. So let's start, let's turn on our pot. We're going to have it about 210. So we're adding uh, the mixture of the almond milk and the rice drink in the, pot, in the pan here. Okay, and I have it at 210 right now. Now I, I saved probably about uh, half a cup, about four ounces of it to the side to mix with the egg mixture, cornstarch, and the flour. So I'm going to add our other uh, part of our sugar. So this is just like making our pastry cream that we've done uh, in class with, in uh, intro to baking. And so it, it's going to be the same thing. It should thicken up, be really, really nice. We'll temper our eggs, which is, which is uh, how we'll take care of those. So we have that going. In our bowl here, we're going to put our eggs. We have three eggs. We're actually going to do uh, have this here. Let me grab one more whisk, hand whisk. Here we go. Had to grab another hand whisk so we can whisk our eggs here. Now we're going to pour, like I said, part of the milk and the, the almond milk and the uh, rice drink. Or that's what they call it in. They don't really call it rice milk, but I don't know why, but anyway, they call it a rice drink. And so we've got to keep an eye on this so it doesn't boil over. And we're going to add our sugar and our cornstarch. So I like to sift them and make sure there's no chunks of any type of uh, pieces. And we'll make this into a smooth. paste so we can temper our eggs. The milk it looks close, that's good. So we make sure this is nice and smooth that we don't want any chunks of, of cornstarch in our so I'm gonna turn this down. So it came to a full boil over here. Which is fine. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna temper the eggs. That's how we usually do. We'll temper our eggs. So we're gonna add a little bit of our milk sugar mixture. Okay. So we're gonna add just a little bit. This just a little at a time. So we can temper our eggs. We're bringing our eggs up to the same temperature as the milk, so we can put it back on the on the burner and uh, bring it to a full boil. And we want to thicken it. Okay, so that's half the, the amount. That's plenty. So I'm going to switch out our, go 
back to our original. So I'm going to turn this back up to 210. So I want to make sure set that aside. Okay, so now let me move these out of the way just so you can see. So I'm going to bring this up to boil. I'll put it up to 230. I want this to thicken again because we, we need to cook out the, the cornstarch, correct? Uh, that's how we usually do it for pastry cream. We have to bring it to another full boil, stirring it constantly so it doesn't, it doesn't uh, scorch. We don't want it to scorch in the corners of the pan, uh, just like regular pastry cream. Because uh, as it thickens, the eggs, the eggs thicken it, you know, and so the, and the cornstarch, of course, that's our, our binder, and we want it to come to a nice full boil. So I have it at 230 right now, and I think that's fine. So we don't want it to be any higher than that. We don't want it to burn. And I can feel it starting to come to a boil. Yep, there it goes. So now, once it comes to a boil, we're going to let it cook. Remember, we have to let it, I'm going to turn it down now so it doesn't splatter on me. So I turn it down to 190. Now I want to stir this constantly, and I'm going to cook it for about another minute or two and make sure that all the cornstarch is, is out of the, it doesn't taste like cornstarch. So we want to make sure. It looks good. It's nice and thick. Now it's got sugar in it, so I'm not going to taste it. Remember, I'm staying away from sugar right now. So, but it's nice. It, it looks nice. It's nice and clear, meaning that it doesn't have. It doesn't look opaque. Uh, it has a nice sheen to it, so it means that the cornstarch is being is uh, cooked out of it. All right, so here we go. That's that's our patient. So there we go. Nice, looks good, huh? Nice. It's really hot. So now we're going to add our vanilla and our vegan butter. To this, so in that way we can make sure one little spot and just one. That thing's a little stubborn, isn't it? There we go. So this adds, this is going to add another flavor to our pastry cream. And then I have a sheet pan here ready to put it on the sheet pan to let it cool off. We'll let it cool off on the on the granite behind me. And then they'll be ready to go for for whatever you need. You know, if we're going to fill a pie, or if you're going to fill the eclairs. You're gonna feel um, any any type of uh, a cake. You know, we have to let it cool off completely. Now, if we added, it'd be difficult to make this into a diplomat cream. A diplomat cream would mean that we would fold in uh, whipped whipped cream. So that's a little difficult because it's supposed to be dairy free. So I would probably just leave it the way it is and not try to attempt. Now you can whip coconut. Uh, coconut fat. You can whip coconut fat and it turns into like a whipped cream which is nice. Uh, but you know I think it would deteriorate of course in here. But I don't think it would do us any good. So we're going to spread this out thin. Let me put this to the side. Spread this out thin onto, remember I have a plastic wrap on our then we throw, uh, we're spreading this out very thin, so it'll cool off a lot faster for us. Okay, so there's our, there's our pastry cream. You can see, and I'm going to put uh, the plastic on top so it doesn't get a skin. and let it cool off completely. Put my name on the corner here. Make sure, always put your name on your product. Here we go. All right, so 
we have our dairy free pastry cream crema dolce a la vanilla gratuita okay very good all right very good i'll see you in class i'm going to let this pull off right behind me and we'll use it for our our finished uh, products in class you'll see and everybody knows how to put it in a player together so uh, we'll do those or if we're going to fill a cake or whatever we're going to do with it all right thank you everyone hope you enjoyed uh, i will see you in next class uh